hi there everyone welcome to another professor you video and this time i am showing you guys my first impressions on the gute mechanical decorative tourbillon watch so it comes inside this very simple cardboard packaging which is really uninteresting and so let's just fling that aside and get into the watch itself so the watch is actually made by a chinese company called yaragar or jaragar whichever way you want to pronounce it and they are actually quite popular brand because their watches are available at amazon.com i also got this watch from the same site and it's actually a really cheap watch which retails for about 31 bucks so i think that i am quite sure that the watch actually uses chinese movement because the japanese or swiss movements actually are very expensive but um that's actually technical issues but let's leave that aside so i have got my timex watch which is for comparison and you can see that the yaragar watch is actually pretty large the dial is larger than the timex watch and the crowns and also the plungers of the yaragar watch are on the larger side so turning those over we can also see that the yaragar watch is much thicker than the timex watch this is actually i don't think automatic watches are very thin and so you guys should keep in mind before buying automatic watches and especially this yaragar watch okay so i think i should give you guys a better view let me just get this uh, focusing done okay so although this is a very cheap watch the aesthetics are actually very brilliant the textures on the dial and the printing is actually immaculate so i am very happy with the product i have got and it's quite brilliant to look at the tourbillon is actually not a tourbillon it's a uh, open heart watch but you know it looks really great also the blue dials and the blue uh, watch, watch hands are actually very nice to look at okay so it is an automatic watch so i don't know how well it keeps time but i i will maybe make a detailed video about it and let you guys know about the accuracy of the time keeping okay so using this crown we can turn it clockwise to wind up the clock and also the this crown has two stops you can change the time by pulling it out into the second stop the first stop actually doesn't do anything so it's a bit of redundant the top plunger over here changes the month of the watch and the bottom plunger over there actually changes the date of the watch okay so how to change the year and the day so if you look on the left hand side you can see that there are two rivets which you can uh, actually uh, press down to change the year by pressing down the top rivet and the bottom rivet can be used to change the day of the uh, yaragar watch i use a, a tool like this one to uh, get it done but you can use a thumb tack or whatever you want just something very pointy or sharp so overall i think this watch is a very good deal at 31 dollars and i think it looks really nice for the price but you know it all comes down to the fact that will it last long enough so that's about it for my this first impressions video thank you for watching and if you have liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you have disliked it please let me know in the comments and uh, hopefully i will see you guys in the next video very soon and as always thanks for watching guys